Hello everyone, I am architect Sunu Rai from Gladi Studio and earlier my channel was known as Software Mania but from today onwards it will be known as Gladi Studio and due to my busy schedule I, I was not able to upload more videos about Revit architecture and AutoCAD and 3ds Max but from now onwards I will post regularly more videos that will be beneficial for architects, interior designers, civil engineers and so on. So in this today video, I will give you more depth knowledge about curtain wall and how we'll make a spider curtain wall. For this, you will go and select this wall tab from this ribbon. And uh, if I am go going to uh, select this wall architecture, you will see the first uh, basic walls, interior walls. And if you go further down, you will see this curtain wall, one exterior glazing and a storefront that we have discussed in my earlier video about curtain wall glazing and a storefront and uh, to make a spider curtain wall and to understand uh, more in-depth uh, knowledge about this curtain wall you have to select this curtain wall and you can draw any desired length here but before that you have to understand how we will modify the height of this curtain wall either you can uh, modify from here by selecting this uh, unconnected height and you can select this unconnected and make it to any of uh, height suppose i'm going to make it 10 feet so it will be converted to 10 feet and you can also select this properties and change it from here also suppose i'm making it 15 feet so it will be automatically changed to both the places like modify and I, so either of option, both the options you can choose one of them and you can in the height suppose if you are going to this top constant and selecting this up to level one so whatever the uh, height of the building will be it will be automatically into that height so if you go and hit apply it will be automatically converted to the default roof height like suppose level one is at 10 feet so it will be 10 feet or 12 feet whatever so for time being i am going to select this unconnected height and i will make it 10 feet I'll go here and hit apply so i will go and draw the a curtain wall of any uh, suppose uh, any length i am going to make it 50 feet i will go and enter 50 feet and so it will become if you will go and select this curtain wall, the temporary dimension will appear here and you can see this 55, 50 feet and you can change it to any other length also by double clicking it and you can change it to 40 feet, 30 feet but I am making it 50 feet. So if you go to uh, your default 3D view, uh, curtain wall 3D view will appear here and uh, you have to go to this bottom panel visual style and you can change this to realistic so it will give you a realistic view so uh, this is very plain curtain wall and if you want to make changes into it you have to select this curtain wall and you have to go to this edit type and in edit type this panel will appear and before uh, making any changes you have to first duplicate this uh, curtain wall not only curtain wall, whatever the object you are applying, suppose you are making roof, uh, uh, stairs, uh, uh, ceilings, uh, walls, first things you have to do is to duplicate this. Otherwise, whatever the changes you will apply here, it will be automatically go to the default settings. So, you have to be very careful. You have to first make a duplicate of any uh, uh, object like a curtain wall or wall ceilings or roofs so i will go and select this duplicate and you can rename it uh, from here and you can leave it like that also also suppose i am going to rename it to curtain wall for uh, re residence and i will go so uh, this uh, this is the first uh, letter like construction and the what what is the function of this curtain wall whether you are using for exterior or interior foundation retaining you can mention uh, it here i am using it for the exterior so i will leave it like that automatically embed uh, it is unchecked uh, i will uh, teach you uh, this uh, difference in upcoming video what is automatically embed and i will you can uncheck this uh, bar 
for climbing and this is curtain wall none if you click this and you will see a lot of other types of curtain wall like basic walls of it and store front and uh, that will be uh, i will be giving a more in-depth knowledge in coming videos and we'll go to this vertical grid layout none so a vertical grid is the vertical this grid which will be applied here in curtain wall so if you go to this none and select this fixed distance fixed distance is the distance between the two vertical grids you can leave this fixed number if you know the uh, how many numbers of vertical grids you are going to apply you can select this but mostly we use fixed distance so i am going to use this fixed distance and by default it is 5 feet i am going to make it 3 feet and uh, adjust for mullion size you can make it uh, you can check it with this part and after that horizontal grid also you can and do the same thing what you have done for vertical grid and you can apply this fixed distance and make it if it so to understand uh, vertical grid and horizontal grid i am not going to make any changes in this vertical millions and horizontal millions i am going to leave it like default and i am going to hit ok so this is the uh, this is the vertical grid what, what i was talking about at the distance of three feet and this is the horizontal grid so there is no mullion uh, which we have applied in this so now we will uh, go and edit um, uh, more settings cut and walk so that you can understand horizontal mullion and vertical mullion so uh, i am going to select this and i am going to edit type and i am going to select this first vertical mullions interior type none so these are interior type none of these interior mullions are the mullions which will be applied inside of the wall i'm going to select any of the default sizes like circular mullion 2.5 inches rectangular mullion rectangular mullion 2.5 inches into 2.5 inches and so on so i am going to select this 1.5 inches into 2.5 inches and i will go and select apply okay so this is the this is the interior mullion so no mullion has been applied on the borders and the bottom and the top and the horizontal uh, mullions also not applied because we have not many any changes in our default setting we have uh, made uh, changes in the this vertical mullion size inside interior so I will go and select this mullion uh, cut and wall again sorry I will go and go to edit tape and uh, I will go to this uh, vertical mullions uh, we have used this rectangular mullion which is showing you up here and I will go to border one type which will be applied on this left hand side and no mullion will be applied on the right hand side I will go and border one type I will select any of the mullions suppose I am selecting uh, 2.5 1.5 inches into 2.5 inches uh, rectangular and you will see one mullion will be applied here I am going and hit apply so you are seeing clearly seeing here the, on the left hand side of uh, on the border the mullion has been applied border two type will be applied on this right hand side i'm going i'm going and select this 1.5 into 2.5 inches square apply so on the right hand side also it has been applied and this is the horizontal mullions interior type means this this is the interior type it will go and select this one inch square and hit apply so you are clearly seeing this this is the interior type of horizontal mullion and this is border one type that is this bottom and border two type that is the top so you will go and select any of the mullion and hit apply so this is the border it, is, it has been applied on this curtain wall and border two type if you select this 2.5 uh, 1.5 into 2.5 inches rectangular i will go and hit apply so on the top also you are seeing it has been applied so it will be very easy it will select one by one each function and you will understand easily by yourself what is the basic function of this curtain wall 
so uh, our main target was to make a spider curtain wall so for this i will uh, teach you a very easy method of what you have to do you have to go to your google site site and you will search for revit city and in the revit city uh, you will search for full parametric curtain panel in the search bar like a spider curtain anything you can type and you will look for a spider curtain you will get many of the options and i i will suggest you to download this full parametric curtain wall with a spider and you can download it and save it to folder i have already download, uh, downloaded so i will go to my folder uh, revit models spider curtain and i will insert in our software i will go to this uh, my, uh, curtain wall again and i will go to this insert tab and from load family options you will click, click load family and you will go and select this full parametric spider curtain which i have saved in my folder uh, which we have downloaded but uh, before that i will uh, inserting this i will I forget to tell you one thing that you have to uh, remember this uh, means uh, type name type which will be easy to search in the curtain wall this is full parametric curtain wall uh, with a spider 18243 we have to just uh, roughly remember this name because it will be easy to find out in our uh, or uh, means curtain wall uh, means edit okay. so uh, what i will go i will go to i will do that in i will go to insert tab and load family and now i will select this full parametric curtain wall and i will open it it will be automatically converted to latest versions and i will go and select this curtain wall and i will go to edit type and now you will go to this control panel none and you will select once and you will look for that name the name uh, which we have saved in our folder and you will look for that name whether it has been come into this or not so here it is full parametric curtain panel with a spider 18243 glaze panel i will go and select this and uh, the settings which we have done earlier will leave it like that and i will go and hit, hit apply and that's all yeah, you are seeing it is a very easy and very nice curtain wall we have applied and you can rotate it and zoom it and you can see curtain wall has been applied here and you can use it for your uh, project so you can use it for your exterior visualization of any commercial project residential project and it is very easy method to make a curtain wall in Revit. So this was the tutorial for today's sessions and in the next videos I will teach you more about curtain wall and how to embed and make any other shapes in curtain wall. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe my channel.